Yes. This shot of Hamashiach, Father, we yes. thank you, Father. We say the water for Hamashiach. Thank you, Father, for the blood. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the intercession. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Glory, hallelujah. Be magnified, hallelujah. Be glorified, hallelujah. Our hallelujah belongs to you, Father. We give you the highest praise. We say hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. If we can't say anything else, we say hallelujah. We say hallelujah, 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 glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I thank you, Father, that when your people step into this place, yes. Father, burdens will be lifted, yokes will be destroyed, yes. chains will be broken, hallelujah. Yes. Even through our worship, Father, break up the stony ground, Father. Break up that foul ground, hallelujah. Yes. Penetrate the hearts of your people, Father. All of those who are stubborn and stiff-necked towards worship, give them a release today, hallelujah. Yes, oh, yeah. Let them find themselves in worship unto you, Father. Undone, Father. A blank canvas, Father, for you to just paint your will, Father. For you to take your spiritual brush, Father, and just make us over again, hallelujah. Purify us, Father, with every stroke, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. We glorify you. We magnify you. We thank you for the Spirit, hallelujah. We thank you for your Spirit, Father. Yes, Father. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you say where two or three are gathered in your name, there you are in the midst of them, Father. So we thank you, Father, that you're giving us an opportunity to set the atmosphere, yes, Heavenly Father. Yes, set yes. the atmosphere, Father. Yes. We set the atmosphere yes, with our praise. Hallelujah. We set the atmosphere with our worship. Yes. We set the atmosphere with yes, our complicity hallelujah. with heaven right now, Father. Hallelujah. As the angels are worshiping before hallelujah. you, as the angels are crying, holy, holy, holy hallelujah. is the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. And likewise, Father, we cry, holy, holy, holy hallelujah. is the Lord Lord God Almighty, we cry out to you, Father. We lift you up, Heavenly Father. Come in as we lift up our heads, O ye gates, so that the King of glory can come in and suck with us and wash us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, Heavenly Father. Oh, we magnify you, Father. We glorify you, Father. We make ourselves small, Father. In the midst of your presence, Thank Father, you, we Lord. kneel at your feet, Father. Yes, yes. Give us a posture today yes, yes. of bowing before you, yes, of kneeling yes. before you, Heavenly Father. Yes, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Let the tears yeah. of our eyes wash your feet, Heavenly Father. Yes, yeah. Mm, hallelujah. Let our voice being lifted yes, up to yes. you sound pleasing. Let it be a yes, sweet, yeah. sweet savor unto you, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father, thank you. for bringing us into the Most High Yah's house today. Yes. I thank you, Father, yes. for giving us an opportunity to worship you on your Shabbat. I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I wouldn't have it any other way, Heavenly Father. I thank you for your Shabbat. Hallelujah. I thank you for bringing us out of paganism. I thank you for bringing us out of Hallelujah. false doctrine and Hallelujah. false worship. I thank you, Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, Hallelujah. for opening up the eyes of our understanding. I thank you, Father for cleansing us. I thank you, Hallelujah. Father, for opening up blind eyes. I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. you, Yah. For causing thank the lame to walk amongst thank Israel. You, Heavenly Father, I thank you, Thank Hallelujah. you, Yah. For edification and knowledge. I thank, thank you for you, wisdom. Hallelujah. I thank you for your word. I thank you thank for you, the God. Holy Scriptures, Father. I thank yeah. you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Yah. Hallelujah. 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 I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your holy word. You are holy. Hallelujah. Your holy word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your Kadash Abba. Your holy hallelujah. word. Hallelujah. Thank you. Your Kadash Abba. Your holy word. Yes. Hallelujah. The water for your Kadash Abba. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. Thank you, God. We magnify you. We lift you up, Father. We glorify you, Heavenly Father. There's none like you. There's none like you. I thank you, Father. There's none like you. All of the false prophets, all of the false gods who have, who have led us astray long enough, who have been deceptive amongst your people, I thank you, Father, that you have risen up a standard, Father, that will allow us to know who you are. Thank and whose you. we are. Yes, hallelujah. I thank you for Israel. I thank, thank you for Yahshua. Thank you. I thank you that we're rising. I thank, thank you that we're awakening. I thank you, Father, thank for the awakening. You, I thank hallelujah. you 
Father, for your spirit being poured out on all flesh according to Joel 2. I thank you, Father. Thank you, O God. You say that your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, O God. Let's just keep interceding. Hallelujah. Thank you, O God. We magnify you. Hallelujah. We enter your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise. We magnify you, O God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We glorify you. Be glorified in this place today. Be magnified in this place. We make you big in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Break up the foul ground. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Begin to water our hearts. Ruach HaKadosh, begin to water our hearts. Hallelujah. Prepare us for the scriptures. Prepare us for the written word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we magnify you. We magnify you. Be glorified. Hallelujah. As we enter, as we come in, be glorified. Hallelujah. We shake off anything. Hallelujah. That is not thinking upon him. Think on these things. Whatsoever things are pure and lovely and just and true. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Hallelujah. We set everything else aside. We set our minds on things above and not beneath. Hallelujah. Oh, praises to the Most High. Oh, we welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome your presence. Hallelujah. 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 I don't think we understand the scripture, the, 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 the intensity of the fact of knowing that where two or more are gathered in his name. There he is in the midst of us. Hallelujah. He is in our midst today. Hallelujah. 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 Your grace and your mercy has allowed us to go beyond the woman who just wanted to touch the hem of your garment, that you are in our midst. Hallelujah. That the veil was rent so that we can come to the throne boldly. Hallelujah. And we can... Be one with the angels crying, holy, holy, holy is the most high God almighty. Holy, holy, holy is a higher. Holy, 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 holy. Holy are you, God. Holy are you, God. Holy are you. Hallelujah. We thank you. 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 The water a higher. The water a higher. We honor you. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we magnify you, oh yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want you to rule this Shabbat. We want you to speak on this Shabbat. We want you, hallelujah, to come and sit with us. Hallelujah. We take a posture of sitting at your feet and hearing your words. Hallelujah. We magnify you, oh yeah. Hallelujah in the name of the Most High. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, His name, yes. make known his deeds among the people. Yes. Sing unto him, sing songs unto him. Yes. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice 
that seek the Most High. Uh -huh. Seek the Most High and His strength. Yeah. Seek His face yeah. evermore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember His marvelous works mm -hmm. that He hath done. His wonders and the judgments of His mouth. O ye seed of Abraham, yeah. His servant. O ye children of Jacob, His yeah. chosen. Yeah. He is the Most High Yah. Yeah. His judgments yes, he are in all the earth. Yes, he hath remembered his covenant forever. Hallelujah. The word which he commanded Hallelujah. to a thousand Hallelujah. generations. Hallelujah. Which covenant Hallelujah. he made with Abraham. And his oath unto Isaac. And confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law. And to Israel for an everlasting covenant. Saying unto thee will I give the land of Canaan the lot of your inheritance when they were but a few men in number, yea, very few, and strangers in it. When they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Hallelujah. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Hallelujah. Verse 14 says, he suffered no man to do them wrong, yea, he reproved kings for their sakes. Hallelujah. Saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Hallelujah. Moreover, he called for a famine upon the land. He break the whole staff of bread. He sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant, whose feet they hurt with fetters. He was laid in iron until the time that his word came. The word of the Most High God tried him. The king sent and loosed him, even the ruler of the people, and let him go free. And let him go free. Hallelujah. And let him go free. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Father, for freedom. Hallelujah. In Hamashiach, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for your holy word. We thank you, Father, that it is a preserver of your people. Hallelujah. That it is a statute. That is a, it is a standard. Hallelujah. In verse 45 of 105, it says that they might observe his statutes and keep his laws. Praise ye the Most High. So, Father, we thank you, Father, for your word. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. Yes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all of the many benefits that you've yes, bestowed upon us, man. Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Father, that in our weakness, Father, you sent strength unto yes, us yes, through man. Hamashiach, Yeshaya, Father, we yes, thank you. Yeah. There's no one like you, Heavenly Father. There's no one like you, Heavenly Father. There's no one like yes. you, Heavenly Father. Yes. Glory be to the highest, Father. I thank you, Father, that as we worship you in spirit and in truth, as we give ourselves unto you, Father, Father, that you will inhabit the praises of your people, Heavenly Father. Father, that you will smile upon us, Father. Father, that the sins we've committed just this morning, the sins that we've committed in the past, Father, the evil thoughts, Father, towards our brother, Heavenly Father, anything that we have done, Father, that has been unrighteous towards our sisters, Father, I thank you, Father for forgiveness. I thank you for mercy, Heavenly Father. I thank you, Father, for setting us free, Father, from the tricks of the enemy. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father, that we will not be divided, Father, but we will unite in Hamashiach, Father. Giving you all glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. We magnify you and we thank you. Father, we ask that you will bless those who are still on their way, Father, that you will give them safe passage. Father, that you will just open up the ways, Father of their travel, be friction to their tires, Father. Bless them to just be safe, get, get here safely, no weapon formed against them, prospering, hallelujah. hallelujah. That you would just bless the people on your holy day. Amen. Father, that we may give you preeminence, Father, to just do and say whatsoever you please, Father. Be magnified, be glorified, be honored today, Father. Let us honor you with our lips. Let us honor you with our hands. Amen. Let us honor you with our temples. Let us honor you with your law that is, that is in our inward parts. Hallelujah. May we honor you with our obedience, Heavenly Father. Hamashiach said that if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me, Father. So let our lives draw all men 
unto you. Let it not just be in word, hallelujah, but let it be in deed yes. for your name's sake. Hallelujah. In the name of Hamashiach, uh -huh. we pray and we thank you for all things. Oh, all things. Oh, hallelujah. All things. Oh, all things. Even the very breath that we breathe, oh, we thank you for yeah. all things. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. And we say, Aman, it is so. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Shabbat shalom, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. There's still people who are on their way. Just pray that strength in the Most High. Uh, but for those of you that are here, we say welcome. Hallelujah. For those of you by way of social media that are viewing all throughout the Maryland, D.C., Virginia area, all the way to Tennessee, to New York, and anywhere else on the East Coast, and maybe even on the, on the West Coast, we thank you for joining us today. Restoration Center Charlotte welcomes you. Hallelujah. We thank you for taking time to join us today, to fellowship with us. Yes. Hallelujah. As usual, we do praise and worship, and then we go into our word, and then we go into our Q&A session, and then we have food and fellowship. We want to feed you by way of the spirit, but also yes. by way of the flesh. We just want to make sure that you are blessed today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you for everybody that made a decision to fellowship with Restoration Center Charlotte today. And may the Most High add a blessing unto you. Those out there who are on social media, as well as those of you who are here today, she can say again, Shabbat Shalom. Yes. We thank you for your presence. We honor you. And all praise to the highest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we give the Most High a man of praise. Hallelujah. Glory be to the highest. Hallelujah. At this time, we are going to just go into our worship service and just give the Most High praise. If you can stand, stand. If you just want to sit, it is okay. Hallelujah, but as long as our posture and our heart is yes. to God, yes. we know that he is in the midst of us and he inhabits Hallelujah. the praises of his people. Hallelujah. 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 I, I have a song in my heart, but I need Pastor Kenny to be on the phone. But... <laughs> Hallelujah. Shalom. How are you? Thank you guys for making it today. Hallelujah. This is the only good goodies. Hallelujah. <laughs> I, I, I like those 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 yes. ones that led me in. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 So I, I'm going to wait for Pastor King. I'm going to try to win. I'm going to try to win. While he's chopping it up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Hallelujah. See y'all. Love y'all. We love you too. Hallelujah. So this is the day. This is the day.
You deserve 
ready for the most part, y'all. This is his Shabbat. This is his holy day. I don't know about y'all, but I'm just happy to be in the house. Hallelujah. I'm happy about the fellowship. Again, Shabbat Shalom to all. It is so wonderful to see you today. Glory be to the highest. Hallelujah. We just going to continue in worship for now. Hallelujah. And thank you, most high. Because even in the midst of worship, burdens are lifted. Yokes are destroyed. Chains are broken. The most high is able to break every chain. Hallelujah. Even through your worship, he'll just break those chains. Hallelujah. I've experienced them for myself. And so I know that he's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that I can ask of thing. So I thank the Most High today, and I thank Him for your life. I thank Him for your health. I thank Him for your strength. I thank Him for your victories. I thank Him that He's causing you to overcome daily, hallelujah, in every area of your life, hallelujah. The Most High says that when we delight ourselves in Him, what will He do? He'll give us the desires of our hearts, hallelujah. He'll give you the desire of your heart. Israel has desires. We have desires. Hallelujah. We have desires. And the Most High knows what your heart wants. He knows what you're thinking. Even when you're alone. And you can't necessarily confide in anyone. But he is with you. Hallelujah. He knows your desires. He knows our desires. And this is what worship helps us do. It helps us just be intimate. It helps us be transparent and honest. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Father. Thank you, we glorify you. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, y'all know I hate singing with tracks, uh, but Hallelujah. This is a, a a song I know the Most High just put on my spirit, so I, I definitely want to sing it, and then we'll get into the word. Hallelujah. <laughs>
This world is full of distractions. Yeah. 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 This is how the this is how the world wants to do it. They want to bring order through chaos. Mm, that's right. That's but my God, the yeah. most high y'all say that we are to stand still and see yeah. what? His salvation. That's right. We gonna stand still and see his salvation. We don't have to move. Right. He's already moved on your behalf. Yeah. All you gotta do is stand in it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Steadfast and unmovable, always abounding. Yeah. Always abounding. Yeah. Always abounding. Yeah. No matter what Paul said, always abounding. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Pressed on every side. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But when we have the most high Yah who is able to do anything but fail. Yeah. Right, says right. that if we ask anything in his name, he right. will do it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's right. Mm. He gave you the victory. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 He gave us the victory. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. We need to just stand fast in the faith. That's right. Hallelujah. I want to talk about faith today. Oh, bring it out. Yes. Bring it out, boy. Yes. Standing fast in the faith. Yes. Being unmovable. We know that the, that the scripture says that, that if you ask anything but you're wavering, if, you, if you're trying to figure out whether he's really going to do it or not, if you're wondering, mm -hmm. he says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways right. and should expect to receive nothing right. from the Most High. So when you're looking for healing, you can't waver. Right. That's right. You should expect it right. and stand right. fast in yeah. your faith. Right. I don't care right. what report you receive. Yeah. Right. Right. Isaiah said, whose report shall you believe? Right. Yes. We have to have a resolve to believe the Most High's report, yes. and it takes faith yes. to stand in that. Hallelujah. It takes faith to stand. Uh -huh. We're seeing in the world right now that even celebrities who have come into the truth are being attacked on every side. And now they have to make a choice or a resolve to stand fast in the faith. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Most High. Go with me to Hebrews chapter 10. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Most High. We're going to go to Hebrews 10 and we're going to start at verse 30. Hallelujah. Verse 30. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 30. For we know him that has said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. Who does vengeance belong to? Yah. It belongs to the Most High. Hallelujah. And that's one thing that we have to settle on right here. As we're in this walk with him, that vengeance is his. Yeah. Yeah. And it is our faith in standing face, faith, uh, fast in the fact that, that, that it is our faith that enacts. His vengeance. Hallelujah. A double-minded man is unstable, so we have to be stable in the fact that the Most High is our vengeance. Hallelujah. Vengeance belongs to Him. Hallelujah. Read. I will recompense, say of the Most High. I will recompense. Do you not think that the Most High sees your enemy? For one minute, do we think that the Most High does not see the plans of the enemy? The plans of the unrighteous? Hallelujah. He knew from the beginning yes. that the enemy would seek to kill and to steal and to destroy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the highest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will recompense. Mm -hmm. He's warring on your behalf. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kafa Yahoo, he's warring on your behalf. Yeah. Hallelujah. To see that, he's warring on your behalf. Hallelujah. Yeah. Sister Stephanie, he's warring on your behalf. Yeah. All you have to do is stand fast in the faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Jada, your life will never be the same. Uh -huh. yes. hallelujah. Your life will never be the same. You've already made a resolve mm. to walk with him. Yes. Hallelujah. You've already seen his glory. Mm. You've already been comforted. He has already brought comfort to you. Mm. Now all you got to do is stand fast in yes. it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Stand fast. Yes. 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 Be unmovable. Yes. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Y'all already got the word in y'all today. I just want to encourage you today. I just want to confirm what the Most High has already spoken to you. Glory. Sometimes we just got to let the word speak. I don't come unto you with enticing words. I just want the word that was there in the beginning. Hallelujah. The word that was already there in the beginning. I just want the word to minister to you today. Hallelujah. I pray that I decrease, that the most I increase in this place today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, vengeance belongs to him, and he will recompense. Come on. And again, the most high shall judge his people. The most high shall judge his people. And in that judgment, he's going to judge you also for the righteousness. He's going to reward you for the righteousness. He's going to reward you for your faith. Judgment is judgment. Hallelujah. There are times that we've gone to court and we knew that we were going to receive a righteous judgment on our behalf. We knew that we were going to be rewarded for something that was done wrong to us. So I want you to lift up your heads. When it comes to judgment, he's also talking about righteousness. Hallelujah. Being affirmed in your righteousness, being affirmed in your faith. Him looking at your situation and saying, you know what? My judgment is that they are blessed, yeah. and I will repay them oh, according yeah. to that. You are blessed, hallelujah. Oh, yeah. hallelujah. That's why when he says judgments, he puts it in, in, in plurality. Right, right. Because there's a judgment for the wicked, but there's also a judgment for the righteous. Hallelujah. 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 Hold that right there, and let's, let's just move by the Spirit. Let's get Psalms 1. Hallelujah. Glory be to the highest. Let's get Psalms 1. While we are expecting the judgment against the unrighteous, as we keep his law, statutes, and commandments, we should be expecting a judgment from him that's going to be of value, that's right. be of profit, be of benefit to us. Yeah. Hallelujah, because vengeance belongs to him. Uh -huh. Glory? Hallelujah. 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 We're just going to let the word speak today. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to get there with you. Psalms, chapter 1. When you have to say, I'm on. I'm on. Read. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Most High, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Read. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth fruit, bringeth forth his fruit, in his season. Uh -huh. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Whatsoever you do shall prosper when you stand not in the way of sinners. Right. Right. When you don't allow the distractions of this world to govern your actions. Right. Good. Good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Acknowledge him in all of your ways. Yes. Yes. And he will direct your path. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Yes. Acknowledge him in all of your ways. Of your ways. Don't you know that pleases him? Don't you know that is a sign of faith when you acknowledge him yes. in all of your ways? Yes. Saying that he will direct your path uh -huh. Uh -huh. because you've delighted in him. Yes. There's no way that you can delight in the Father and he not be proud, he not be amazed. Yes. In the midst of what yes. we're dealing with in this world, yes. Yes. he accounts that to you as righteousness. Teach. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 So we need to delight ourselves in him, understanding that whatsoever you do shall prosper. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. But let's talk about the judgments of the righteous. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We won't see that the ungodly have nothing to do with that. That's right. There's a way that seems right unto a man, right. but the end thereof is destruction. Yeah. Yeah. There's a way that seems right unto man. It is man that has placed yes. all of what we see before you today. Uh -huh. It is man who has miseducated us. Yeah. It is man who has enslaved the minds of our people yeah. and caused them not to acknowledge the highest, but to acknowledge the government. But when we actually just take it for what it is and see them for who they are, yeah. the Most High has already showed you that they are sinners. 
He's already showed you that they have congregated together against you. Yes. So why are we going to go to them for anything when we go to our source, who is the most high? Yes. Yes. Who is able to keep us from falling. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And even if we yes. fall seven times, he's still with us. Yes. That's, right. That's, right. That's right. So even when you fall, even when you make a mistake, even when you've done something wrong, stand fast. Yes. Stand fast. Hallelujah. Stand fast. Do not condemn yes. yourself because the one that died for you came not to condemn you, yes. but to set you free, to deliver you. Yes. The kingdom is within you. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Nothing beats a failure but a try. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. You understand? That's right. That's right. But the ungodly are not so. Read. Uh -huh. Verse 4. Hallelujah. But are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Uh huh. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment. Hold up. Mm. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the what? Judgment. Mm. Read. Nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. So sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. Read. For the Most High knoweth the way of the righteous. He knoweth the way of the righteous. Don't you know he's already set you up for victory? Yes, that's right. That's right. Good. All you got to do is stand fast in your faith. Hallelujah. Because he knoweth the way of the righteous. There's no way that he's going to see you delighting yourself in him. Right. Acknowledging him in all your ways. And not direct your path to victory. Not direct your path to the kingdom. Not direct your path to the gates. Uh -huh. Those gates are waiting for us. Yeah. Yeah. So we can rejoice. Hallelujah. Yeah. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, mm -hmm. nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Right. I want you to say to yourself, I am the righteous. I am the righteous. I am the righteous. Say it again. I am the righteous. I am the righteous. Sometimes you got to declare and decree. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Because we can get in our own way and we can begin to doubt ourselves. Yeah. Every time something looks bleak, every time you make a mistake, I want you to say, I am the righteous. I am the righteous. I am the righteous. Hallelujah. Because the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. But what happens to the ungodly? But the way of the ungodly shall perish. But the way of the ungodly shall perish. So please don't fret. Please don't worry. Don't worry about whether you're going to have to take a vaccine or not as it pertains to your job. Uh -huh. Praise God. We are in a perpetual yeah. Passover. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's you understand? It. So when the death angel comes, even your boss on your job will walk right past you. When he see your name on that paper, he'll say, you know what? The word says, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. But as long as you're complicit with heaven, through your faith, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. He turns the king's heart whatsoever way he pleases. So when you're pleasing him, hallelujah, your reward is righteousness. Your reward is life, and that life more abundantly. All you got to do is stand fast in the faith. No wavering. No double-mindedness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Yah. We know that I, Yah, is strong, yeah. mighty in battle. Hallelujah. Yeah. We are in a war. We know this, but it is our faith yeah. that releases the victory. Hallelujah. Yeah. There's no need to know precepts if you don't have faith. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Yes, sir. That's right. Mm. Hallelujah. Those precepts, they keep us and they show us the way to go, but it is our faith yes, right. yes, yes. Yes. Thank you. that grounds us in those precepts. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why he said, I'm going to take my law and put it on your inward parts this time. Yes. I'm going to set you up for success. Yes. So when you meditate on my law day and night, now you're being fortified and able to stand. Yes. And after all that you can do to stand, because of the spirit of the law, Yet you will continue to what? Stand. Hallelujah. Glory be to the most high. So don't worry. Let's go back to Hebrews. Don't worry. Because we know that it is the just that shall live by faith. That's right. Hallelujah. We have been justified before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. We have been justified. Hallelujah. 
Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Your faith is feeding you right now. Your faith is making you whole right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before Hamashiach even laid hands or before he even put the decree forth that healing was evident, he said, your faith made you whole. The fact that you came to me, the fact that you acknowledged me, hallelujah, your faith has not only healed you, but it has made you whole, hallelujah, which means you will never suffer again. You will never deal with that thing again. Hallelujah. You will become a high priest in that area. We got to go through it so that we can become a high priest. Hallelujah. We are a royal priesthood. Hallelujah. We are a holy people. Glory be to the most high. He's already given you power over all unclean things. All you got to do is acknowledge him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the most high. His spirit is in here. His spirit is with us. Hallelujah. Hebrews 10. Hallelujah. We started at verse 30 and we're going to go to verse 31. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Being careful what we put in our ear gates. Being careful what we listen to. Being careful what we put before our eyes. Hallelujah. We know what our, what, our, what our weaknesses are. Yes. And it's okay to acknowledge that because yes. now we know that he's made strong in those weaknesses. Yes. 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 But according to Romans 12, he told you, he said, be ye transformed. Yes. Right? Yes. So he spoke the word, now your faith is what makes it come to pass. Yes. Mm -hmm. Be ye transformed. That's the commandment. He's telling you yes. to make a decision, to have a resolve to renew your mind. Yes. Hallelujah, because it's up to you to prove what he's already done in the spirit. Yes, yes. Pray thy kingdom come. Uh -huh. Pray thy will be done with. On earth as it is in Shemayim, as it is in heaven, it's already done. Just pull on heaven through your faith. And those precepts will sustain you. They will fortify you. Come on. Come on with it. Come on with it. That's right. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. They will fortify you. Yes. His word will become your strong tower. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It is better to be on the side of the Most High than on the other side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't wish to be on the other side, so our faith yes. Hallelujah. can't be wavered. Nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broken. Hallelujah. Don't you know you deserve that, children of Israel? Don't you know you deserve for there to be nothing missing in your, in your life? Nothing lacking in your life. Nothing broken. Hallelujah. You've already made your desires known to the Most High. Now delight in Him so He can give it to you. Companionship. Relationship. Hallelujah. The Most High wants to bless some of you with, with some true companionship. Mm. With a true relationship. Yeah. Hallelujah. There's a man and, or a woman that, that is fit just for you. That is fit and tailored just for you. Mm. Hallelujah. He said that he did not want man to be alone. Right. 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 Mm. Likewise, he doesn't want for our daughters of Zion to be alone. Mm. He knows your heart. He knows your desires. He knows what you have needed. Yes. Yes. In these days and times that we're living in, you need a man of the yes. most high by your side yes. with a mission. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Right. And according to your amenah, according to your faith, hallelujah, hallelujah, you will agree and you will support, hallelujah, uh -huh. the you. mission of the most high. Yes. Glory, hallelujah. hallelujah. Put your faith hallelujah. in it. Put your faith in it. Hallelujah. hallelujah. He's already prepared the way. Put your faith in it. Hallelujah. He's already made every crooked, crooked place straight. Put your faith in it. Hallelujah. We want to be on the side of the Most High. We want to be on the side of the Most High. Hallelujah. Verse 31 in Hebrews 10. Read. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Most High. It is a fearful thing to fall in His hands. Uh -huh. 
Come on. But call to remembrance the former days. But call to remembrance the former days. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's going to explain it. Come on. In which after ye were illuminated, ye endured a great fight of, of affliction. Listen to that. Mm -hmm. After ye were illuminated, ye endured a great fight of affliction. After you endure, everybody say endure. Endure. After you endure, hallelujah, mm -hmm. you endure the great fight of affliction. I want to take a moment to just stop. Stop for a second. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Yahweh, what, 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 what is the most high? Kafa, what is the most high saying right now? Just do that. Look, look at that. But call to remembrance the former days, hallelujah, in which after ye were illuminated, after you came into the truth, hallelujah, after he opened your eyes, hallelujah, ye endured a great fight of afflictions. We're going through some afflictions right now. We're going through some things right now. There's some things that we've expressed to the Most High. We said, Most High, why? I'm living right. I'm doing what I can. I'm acknowledging you. But it still seems like I'm not seeing the desires of my heart come to pass. According to verse 30, 32, it's going to be a great fight. It's not going to be easy. You're going to have to endure you're going to have to endure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you in this moment. We, we got to endure. We got to fight the good fight of faith. Nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broken. That's what we deserve. Hallelujah. 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 The floor is open. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, if, if, if there's any, any anything that you just want to say right now. Hallelujah. If there's anything that you want to say, the floor is open. Hallelujah. Somebody can grab this mic. I just feel like we need to have a discussion at this point. It says, but call those, but call to remembrance yes. the former days. Hallelujah. Right? Uh -huh. In which after ye were illuminated. Yes, yes. And, and that's saying to me, you know, um, when you first were illuminate, illuminated to the truth, remembering how it was. Proving that truth in your own life. And, and well, I don't want to get ahead of what you're saying, but he's saying to call to remembrance the former days, which before you knew the truth, before you were in the way, how in darkness that you were. But after you found that freedom, after you were illuminated and you grasped a hold of that truth, how you had to suffer through the affliction of knowing who you were. So if you if you think about it, before we knew who we were, right, the afflictions that we suffered seemed to be easier to bear, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. Because we were used to that kind of affliction. It seemed to be the way of life, yeah. right? right? But then once you know the truth, I know when, when I first came into truth, I, I was very upset. And the affliction of having to change uh, everything that you knew right. and, 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 and adapt your lifestyle to what the Most High really wants in your life. My affliction was, man, what, 
was I doing for all of them years that I didn't know the truth, but yet I was praying and I was seeking and I was calling on a different name and thinking I'm calling on the right name and so forth and so on. The, the affliction for me was pressing past all of that and being illuminated in this truth. Pressing uh, past, yeah, which was form, right? Yeah, the form, yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Because sometimes those things will follow you. Uh -huh. yeah. Right? Yeah. But when you're illuminated now, you can see how to overcome the yes. affliction. Yes. Now you have a confidence that you didn't have before. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because you're in the truth. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That truth is powerful. He says that you shall know the truth, yeah. mm -hmm. and the truth shall what? Amen. Make you free, according to John 8.32. So right now, some of us, we're, we're, we're enduring through some great afflictions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're enduring right now. But, but there's some things that, that need to be verbalized. Yes. Yes. There, there's, some, there's some things that we need to come to grips with and we need to verbalize it so that we can get over it mm -hmm. for good. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you don't verbalize those things, they fester. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. They fester. Yeah. Bring it up. First of all, I want to say shalom, family. Shalom. shalom. Uh, I'm glad that this is being brought out because uh, I want to share. I want to share my testimony because of coming to the knowledge first. Where when I found out, I was at this uh this church family, and when I found out, I was upset. Yes, I was upset. I even went to them to explain to them they were trying to hear. But I was upset. But the thing is that when you when you get eliminate, illuminated to this truth and you prepare your heart to serve the Most High, you must know that you're going to be tested. That's right. You're going to be proven. That's right. And with that proof, it comes affliction. Affliction yeah. comes with that for the proof. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And sometimes people uh, don't look, they don't have sight on that knowing they they they, they, they allow the affliction to take them out like it's a strange thing. Right. The book of James even speaks about that, that you know, uh, when, we're, when, we're, when we're in this walk, that you're going to be tested. And, and when these afflictions come, don't count it out a, a strange thing like rejoice in this. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. it produces something in you that you're going to need yes. to keep going. Mm -hmm. Endurance has, without patience, there is no endurance. Right. You, you see what I'm saying? So you need that. And we have need it's, it's written in the scripture where it says, after you have done the righteousness of the Most High, you still have need of what? Patience. Yes. You see what I'm saying? That's right. So you have to have it because if you don't have patience, because look, everything don't go on our timing. Mm. That's right. The most I is, is the seasons to these things. Yeah. See, when people, we come yeah. with it, sometimes yeah. we get into this with expectancy thinking that everything's going to happen like it's a, yeah. a, a magical thing, like hour right. hour. Right. Ooh, right. Right. <laughs> so we, we have to notice that because sometimes we have a, a preconceived notion of what we think, of what it is. And when yeah. that thing don't come, then you lose yeah. faith. That's or you right. lose and it's like, no, right. I said, no. Everything has its timing. Everything has a season. Look, the Most High has created the natural things for us to see and observe to know the things of the Spirit. Come on. The things of the Ruach. So it's like, okay, we have times and seasons. Okay, we got summer. You got to win. Yeah. You got to. You got to. You got to have these things up. We, we have to know these things. Yes. If you don't know these things, it can be a stumbling block to you. Yes, yes. So we have to be informed like, of these things yeah. so we can know. It's a beautiful thing. It's not a bad thing that you go through the affliction. Right. She has had to go through That's, right. That's good. And you know, but we look at it, it's just now it comes to a point of perception. Yes. Now we have to okay, this is the most high. Don't you know the most high is in full control? Do you truly believe that? Yeah. Yeah. Full control. In full control. Yeah. So once we know that, hallelujah, once we know that, we can, okay, yeah, you what, 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 what are you teaching me? What do I need to see? Take the time out to ask, okay, why am I going through this? Yeah. What is this? Yeah. You know, don't, it's nothing wrong with questions. You know how some people used to say, don't question. Man, what? Right. The most I want you to know. I right. want you to come to me. Right, right. right. Exactly. exactly. So that's, I wanted to share that with the family. Yeah. And this is where it is because sometimes people lose track yeah. of, of, of the mission, knowing that when he's sufficient come, that it's a problem. Like, oh, the most I guess the most I don't want me. No, right. that's not. Yes, he wants you to go through this. Yeah. Yeah. You got to go through it. We must. You can't go to you can't come into the kingdom without going through it. That's right. That's right. You got to go through it. Messiah went through it. So do you. Hallelujah. So when we set our minds on that, yeah. 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 then we can prepare ourselves. Absolutely. It's almost like like you know when when seeing that punch coming. Right. I, I like boxing. 
You know what I'm saying? And you stand in there and you boxing or whatever. Right. And when you see a punch coming, you can brace yourself. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it don't hurt as much. Exactly. You know, but it's those punches that you don't see coming that will knock you out. So when we meditate on his laws day and night, yeah. when we understand that many are the afflictions of the righteous. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's part of the word too. Yeah. Right. And that's one of the things that got lost for me, even going back to the Christian churches. I remember my former days is I thought everything was supposed to just work out. Right. And whenever things weren't what were, what were not working out, I thought something was wrong with me. Right. I thought something was wrong with my faith. When I was sow my money or sow my seed, expecting for it to come back, press down, shake it together, <laughs> run it over, shall men give unto my bosom, and then my lights get cut off. Right, 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 yeah, right, right, right. Yes, and right. then I'm hearing you, you, you know, your faith is not increasing. Nobody talking about many of the afflictions yes, of who right, you're righteous. Right, right. Yes. You're going to go through some things, so brace yourself. Uh -huh. How can the Most High show his love? How can he show his power if we don't go through things? That's, right. that's good. That's good. We'll take him for granted. That's right. That's right. That's good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll begin to take him for granted. Uh -huh. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. That's Even in our relationships, when you're used to somebody doing something for you, and then for whatever reason they stop, your posture changes towards them. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. right. 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 Because you're accustomed to how they used to treat you. Mm -hmm. But they're being afflicted too. They're going through as well. They may be weak as well. Right. Right. Hallelujah. 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 If you're looking for your happiness in someone, right. you're already mistaken. Yeah. Bring it out. That's Bring right. it out. Right. Hallelujah. You got to take joy in the most. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You have to take joy in the author and the finisher of your faith. Yeah. That's right. Because man is going to fail you. Yeah. But the most high will never fail yeah. you. So even when you're going through the afflictions, yeah. even when you're going through the trials, Put your trust in him. That's right. yeah. That's good. He delivers us out in all systems. That's right. That's right. That's right. Even in James 1. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He said to all of the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. Uh -huh. My brethren, count it all joy yes. when ye fall into diverse yes. temptations. Yes. Diversity, a lot. It's coming from every side. It's coming from every which way. Things that look good and things that look appealing, they're coming to take your joy. Yeah. They're coming to take your peace. They're coming to take your faith. They're coming to destroy you. Mm -hmm. But he says, count it all joy when you fall into many different temptations. Yes. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh what? Patience. And is that patience, patience brother, that you yeah. was talking about? Right. Yeah. Your faith worketh patience. Understanding the seasons. Right. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 That's, That's powerful. powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Something Pastor Rhonda just always bring oh, forth that there are four different seasons. Right. Understanding that when your when your patience is there, your faith is there. Mm -hmm. No matter what season you're in, right. your leaf shall not wither. Right. Right. That's a good place to be. Yes. When we realize in winter that the leaves they perish. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But in those times when it's cold for you and it don't seem like nothing is happening right. and it seems like things are dead in your life, he says that whatsoever you do shall prosper. Right. So stand fast in it. Have faith. Hallelujah. Let patience have her perfect work. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. It might not flourish this winter, but endure. Hallelujah. Yeah. So that next winter, next winter, you'll have fruit in this season. Right. Hallelujah. 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 We got to prepare for the long haul. The race is not given to the swift. That's right. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting what? Nothing. Nothing. That's a wonderful place to be. Yes, it is. When you're not wanting for nothing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because patience is having her perfect work. Right. Even though you don't have it, Hebrews 11 said, now faith is. That's it. Now. now. That's, right. That's right. Glory. Hallelujah. Right. Now faith is right. the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not, not seen. Right. Now have, let patience have her perfect work. That's right. There you go. That's it. Hallelujah. Because like I said, the most high is, is not operating in time. Right. That's right. He operates in, in eternity. So at any time. That you can see the word. Yeah, come on. Hear the word and understand that word. Hallelujah. Right, 
now comes the manifestation. Yeah, yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Your mind is being converted. Yeah. It's already done, so you can take joy. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So understanding the things of the spirit will produce truth in your life when the enemy says no. The most high says yes. Hallelujah. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask who? The most high. That giveth to all men liberally and abradeth not and it shall be given him. That's a promise. That's why I say there's no way you can keep his law, statutes, and commandments. There's no way that you can worship him. There's no way that you can desire him. And he not produce what is in the heavenlies right here. When we get to the Shemaiah, when we get to the kingdom, it's going to be eternal. But there's no reason why we cannot experience the kingdom now. If not, he wouldn't have told you to pray for it to come. That's right. 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 Right now in your life, you can have heaven. Hallelujah. Right Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. 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 But we can't be wavering. That's right. Because he wants to give it to you. Yes. He's just looking for your complicity. He's looking for your posture mm -hmm. to be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But let him ask in what? Faith. Yes. Nothing wavering. Yes. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. This is the state that this, that this world wants you in. The spiritual wickedness in high places and the rulers of darkness of this world, they want you wavering. They want you tossed to and fro. They want you worried. They want you thinking about what if I get sick. When the Most High said nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broken. What did he say? Exactly. Yeah. They talking about this fall, a new wave of Corona. What is it called again? <laughs> Cor Cor coronavirus? Yeah. COVID, whatever you want to call it. A new wave is coming in. But what did the most high say? That's right. Yeah. Come on. Yes, that's right. Who's right. Whose report will we yeah. believe? Absolutely. That's right. That's right. right. <laughs> Psalms 91 is for those that are yeah. not wavering, that's right. yes. that are not tossed to and fro. Right. Glory, hallelujah. hallelujah. Mm. For let not man think that he shall receive anything from the Most High. Yes, right. A double-minded man is what? Unstable. Unstable in what? All in ways. all his ways. This is why he told us, according to Proverbs 3, to acknowledge him in what? All, all your ways. <laughs> That's the common denominator right there. Right. In Deuteronomy, he warned us, be careful to do all of the commandments that I've commanded this day. Hallelujah. We're eating today. Hallelujah. Sometimes we just need to remind ourselves. Right? We, need, we need to bring it back to the basics. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Sometimes we can get caught up in research, and sometimes we can get caught up in trying to gather all of these precepts. Yeah. And the Most High is saying, no, slow your roll. Come on. Because you haven't even had an experience with the basics of my word. Wow. I need you to have an experience wow. with the basics. Wow. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Wow. It really is. You are not a high priest yet. I want to make you a high priest by your faith. I want to bring you through. I want to lift you higher. But if you're not fortified with the basics, sometimes we need to remind ourselves that Hamashiach is our shepherd and we shall not want. That he makes us to lie down in green pastures. That he leads us beside still waters. That he restores our soul. He said, for my name's sake, which means he put it all on him. Yes. All you got to do is make sure that your faith yes. is not wavering. Yes. Make sure that you're not unstable. Uh -huh. Because you won't receive the promise if you're unstable. Yes. Because the Most High is stable. That's right. Ever enduring. Let's remind ourselves of the basics. Hallelujah. 
Somebody on social media, you need to be reminded of the basics. Sometimes you study long, you study wrong. Go back to the basics. Get in your songs, get in your proverbs. Go back to the basics. Fortify yourself by your faith. He is not the author of confusion. Therefore, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. It says, let the brother of low degree do what? Rejoice in that he is exalted. Don't you know the Most High knew you before you were formed in your mother's room? Right, right. You already been exalted. You already have the victory. You already have the desires of your heart. You've already overcome. Sirach 2, it says, My son, if thou come to serve the Most High, prepare thy soul for temptation, and then do what? Set thy heart aright, right. and constantly endure, yes. and make not haste in the time of trouble. Mm. So before we even get to the fall time, before we even start going throughout the winter time, mm. the Most High says, set your heart aright. Because he's looking for those who have who have who have denied this world. That's right. That's right. He's looking for those who are willing to say, you know what? If all I, if all I got, in, if I'm in a big house now and I got to go to a one bedroom apartment, right. and from that place endure, he's going to see me. Right. He's going to acknowledge me. Yeah. He's going to exalt me. Because Hamashiach right. right. told us, he said, lay not up for yourself. Tre uh, treasures where? On earth. Where moth and rust doth corrupt and thieves do break in and steal. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. What's going to happen when you don't take the vaccine? What's going to happen when they change the money system? Mm. What's going to happen when martial law is 100% in place? Yes. Are we going to endure? Right. Are we going to be wavering? Right. Right. Are we going to be yeah. worried? The Most High is saying, expect to receive nothing from me. Fortify yourself now. Yeah. Prepare. Yeah. Get ready. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Oh, Thank you. Get ready. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go with me to Exodus 5. We might as well touch on Exodus. Since the Most High is preparing us to exit right this kingdom. As we close out, let's get ready to fortify ourselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need you to get this. When you have it, say, I'm up. Exodus 5. Mm -hmm. Pastor Ron started at verse 1. And afterward, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Most High of Israel. Let my people go. He said what? Let my people go. Everybody say, let my people go. Let, let my, my people, people go. go. After Moshe and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They wasn't standing in a welfare line waiting for anything. Right. They wasn't standing in a COVID line waiting for a test. Right. <laughs> they weren't worried about their job. They weren't worried about anything. Because the Most High said, I'm going to bring my people out. So why are they trying to stand fast in a place that I'm getting ready to destroy? Right. Go and tell Pharaoh. Right. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. By keeping the Shabbat, you're telling Pharaoh. Yeah. Wow. That's good. That's good. Right. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. By governing yourselves according to the Levitical laws right. and staying away from pork, right. crab, shrimp, and lobster, all of those things that he says, are unclean, yeah. you're telling Pharaoh yeah. what you gonna do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When you love your neighbor as you love yeah. yourself, you're telling Pharaoh yeah. what you gonna do. Yeah. 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 Not waver. Uh -huh. uh -huh. mm. wow. He told Aaron and Moshe, tell Pharaoh, mm. let my people go. Mm -hmm. Come on. That they may hold a feast Unto me in the wilderness. That they may hold a feast unto me in what? In the wilderness. 
in the wilderness. Meditate on that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Which one of our holy days mm -hmm. is coming up where we are supposed to practice mm -hmm. and be in the wilderness? Tabernacles. tabernacles. Mm -hmm. But before we get to tabernacles, we have the Feast of Trumpets, which is the warning. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The time that we acknowledge him in all our ways. Right. Trust in him with all of our heart. Yeah. Lean not to our own understanding. Yeah. So that he can direct our what? Path. When you're in the wilderness and you don't know where to go, who's going to direct your path? Right. The highest. Right. The most high himself. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As he's bringing us out, let's get ready. Right. Posture ourselves yeah. by heeding the warning of yeah. the Feast of Trumpets. Mm -hmm. And then nine days later, that takes us where? Into the Day of Atonement. This is where we what? Afflict our flesh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we got to afflict our own flesh so that the Most High won't have to do it for you. Yeah. Right. Because right. by any means necessary, He loves you and He's going to get your attention. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And those things that you want to hold on to, right. bring it out. Bring it out. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 He won't shake you from it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But if He has to do it, it's going to be a violent shake. Yeah. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of who? The Most High. Right. Set your heart right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Afflict your soul. Afflict your flesh. Yes. 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 Which means that you have to admit those things that you're struggling with, put it on the table, right. to let the Most High know you want to be free. Uh -huh. yes. That's right. Yeah. That's good. That's good. We overcome no addictions by still holding on to the lie that we're going to be all right. In healing and getting rid of addiction, you have to admit yes, that's right. That's right. that you have an issue. That's right. That's right. As we are preparing for the wilderness, the Most High said, you need to afflict yourself. Yes, that's right. You need to acknowledge right. those areas that need healing right. so that the King of Glory can come in yes. and wash you Hallelujah. by your own recognizance and not because of judgment. So as we're preparing for tabernacles, we see here that they were even preparing for tabernacles right here. The feast that they were going to hold in the wilderness was what? Tabernacles. And annually, we prepare ourselves to do the same thing that our fathers did. Yes, that's right. According to Romans 15 and 4. For those things that were written aforetime were written for what? Our learning. The strategy is in the word, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The victory is in your acknowledgement of the strategy or the acknowledgement of his ways. Right. Now all you got to do is be a vessel. Yeah. 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 Verse 2. And Pharaoh said, who is the most high that I should obey his voice and let Israel go? So this is the posture of your enemy as they are preparing you for destruction. Boasting, who is the Lord? Mm -hmm. I don't know him. Right. <laughs> right. Which at this time he really did. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice mm -hmm. and let Israel go? Right. Right. Let the jewelry go? Yeah. Let the stock market go? <laughs> let the people who built my kingdom for me go? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Give those people reparations? Right. Let them worship their God? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. This is why his heart was hard. Right. Right. Because of the benefit that Israel was yeah. to him. Yeah. He couldn't let us go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is, in order for us to have been delivered during that time, we had to let Pharaoh go. Yeah. That's wow. right. That's right. That's good. We had to let him go because he wasn't going to let us go. Glory. Whatever is keeping you bound, whatever is keeping you from coming to the fullness of worshiping him in spirit and in truth, you got to let it go. Because that thing is not going to let you go. 
fear is not going to let you go. You got to let it go. By the renewing of your mind that you may prove his good, acceptable, and perfect will. Fear is not acceptable. He said, how can you put your faith in me and then fear somebody else? When I'm the one who's able to kill the body and place your soul in hell. When I've already reserved the day of judgment for Satan and his angels. And you worried about them? Let it go. You need to take on the posture of Moses and Aaron and you need to tell that thing in your life. Let me go. Let my people go. We need to preach to our people. Let welfare go. Let this wicked educational system go. Let pagan worship go. Because it's producing a residue that you cannot get rid of. Because you won't let the king of glory in. He does not dwell in unrighteous temples. He cannot dwell where there is unrighteousness. Therefore, your mind, your posture has to be renewed. Let it go. It's not going to let you go. I promise you that. And when you let it go, walk away from it and come back no more. Because when you go back to it, it attaches itself to you, what? Seven times worse. Let it go. That spirit of covetousness, somebody, and they, and they you're not in here. That spirit of, of covetousness and, and jealousy, let it go. Pointing the finger, let it go. Putting your faith in this economic system, let it go. The children of Israel still drank in the wilderness. They still ate in the wilderness. Healing still came forth in the wilderness. Their shoes never wore out in the wilderness. Because he was able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all they could ask or think. All they could think about was death during that time. You've led us out here to die? We're going to go back and worship the gods of Egypt. When Moses was postured and he was getting the commandments and he was on his knees, he had taken off his shoes, he knew he was on holy ground. He was in a place of worship. And during his time of worship, there were others that doubted. There were others that were wavering. That were, uh, there were others that were double-minded. That's a hard thing to get rid of. He brought them through the Red Sea. They seen the Pharaoh's army destroyed. Yes. They were fed with manna from on high. Yes. Most, the Most High told Moses, crack the rock open. Mm. And water came forth. Yes. He took care of them, and even after all of that, mm. their faith was still waiting. Wow. Wow. Because even though Pharaoh let them go, uh -huh. they did not let Pharaoh go. Mm. The spirit of Pharaoh was still with them. Wow. The memories of Pharaoh was still with them. The attachment to a wicked system was still with them. The comfort in sin was still with them. Years of not being accountable. Years of thinking that there was no law. And now they're coming into a place where the Most High says, I will not do away with the law. You will live by every word yes. that proceedeth out of the mouth yes. of the Most High God. Yes. Let Pharaoh go. Uh -huh. Let him go. Verse 3. And they said, 
the God of the Hebrews has met with us. Uh -huh. Let us go, we pray thee, three days' journey into the desert, and sacrifice unto the Lord our God, lest he fall upon us with pestilence or with the sword. So it says here, the Most High of the Hebrews have met with us. Yes. After they met with him, mm -hmm. what were their next words? We pray thee, mm -hmm. we, let, us go. let us go, I'm sorry. <laughs> let us go, we pray thee. So, so when they met with the Most High, mm -hmm. after they got into the presence of the Most High, mm -hmm. after they began to acknowledge who their Most High power was, They were complicit with heaven. They came back and said, what? Let us go. Yeah. So the only way you're going to be able to let those things go that are plaguing you in your life is you have to meet with him. Uh -huh. Daily. Mm -hmm. Seek him while it's early yeah. that he may be found. Yes. Meditate on his laws day and night. So that you'll be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth fruit in his season. Uh -huh. It's your season. Yeah. We are in the Passover. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let's stand still and see the salvation of who? The Most High. Give him a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Stand up and give him some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of Testimony. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Most High. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Most High. You may be seated. Glory be to the highest. Come on. Yes, come on. In uh, 2 Corinthians 12, starting at verse 7. 2 Corinthians 12 and 7. Bring it up. All right. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord Christ that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of the anointed may rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for the anointed's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Hallelujah. That's a good one. Hallelujah. That's a good one. <laughs> he said, take pleasure in yes, Christ. Yes, yes. This is how you know that he's with you. This is how we know that he's with us. Thank you for that word. In infirmities, in reproaches, which means people expressing disappointment in what you believe. Expressing disappointment in your walk. Putting peer pressure on you and telling you you're crazy or you're in a cult or, 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 or the Most High is not with you. Yes. Come on. When I, I was when I was listening to um, the other chapter in terms of being illuminated, I looked up the etymology of you know to be illuminated or enlightened, and it needs to be well informed. So so with that, our biggest test is discovering that everything around us. All of our lives was essentially a lie. Yes. Wow. And you know that that rebirth of being in the truth and walking in it is a baby. And you know we just have to you know give extra care, you know, to, to what the Most High made us to be. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. All praises to the Most High. That's where our faith has to be in order for us to survive what's coming. We're going to have to be steadfast, unmovable, 
understanding that even in our affliction, we're winning. This is suffering for the sake of the gospel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Anybody else have any questions, any comments, any scripture? Anything that you'd like to say? Hallelujah. Wow. I believe the most I spoke today. Yes, he yeah. did. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, he did. <laughs> Truly. Let's go to a quick scripture um, in, in 1 Corinthians 16 and 15. This needs to be our posture right here. It says, I beseech you, brethren, ye know the house of Stephanus that is the first fruits of Achaia. And that they have addicted themselves to what? The ministry of the saints. This is, is what our posture needs to be at this time. Is we need to be addicted to the Most High. We cannot be satisfied with holes and cracks in our game right now. We got to seek Him and ask Him to show up all of those areas as we addict ourselves to Him. Because that's where the freedom is. That's where the sober-mindedness is. It's putting him above and beyond anything that this world has to offer. He holds this world in his hands. So therefore, he is with us. And if he be for us, who can be against us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Yvette, is there anything that you got from the message today or in particular?
because the most high has been working in our lives and the fruits are are here and it's coming. I feel it. Um I've been trying to get here for almost a year now. Oh, <laughs> and man. Wow. We finally we're getting, made it. We're almost high. We're almost high. We're almost high. with new family members um, and really, really start a new life. So we're here now because we had to go through, we had to go through, yes. get here today. Right. So right. I'm grateful. So That's thank right. you to the Most High God, thank you family, and I'm grateful. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 And I'm grateful. Yeah. 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 All oh, praises yeah. to the Most High. Yeah. And, and, you know, I just thank the Most High for, for giving us a spirit of endurance. Yeah. And, and just telling us to be consistent. Yeah. Because he's going to build this thing up the way he wants it. Right. Yeah. That's the key. That's it. That's it. And us being okay with that. Yeah. That's right. and, and I like the slow, steady yeah. growth. The yeah. slow yeah. build. You understand? Because you can get in on the ground floor and, and your gifts and your talents and what the Most High has given you, you're able to flourish with no distraction. Right. And, and keep in mind, Pastor Rhonda and I, we are truly people that want to see you win. There's no satisfaction in our lives being pretty good and your lives not being better. Yes, yes. You understand? Your, your life has to be better than ours. That's how I want it. That's how the most I want it. That's how much he loves you. Yes. Is, is that, you know, our... Our ceiling is going to be your floor. That's how much the Most High want, want, wants to bless you. And that's, that's how far he wants to take you. And, and, I'm, and I'm just happy that we can be a facilitator of that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before we go with any more discussions or um, questions or anything that you'd like to say, um, yes. Can you just say goodbye to this? Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, for those of you by way of uh, social media, Facebook Live, uh, look at the upload on YouTube, share it. Uh, it will be uploaded before the weekend is over. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate you from where you are, for how you support us in all kinds of ways. We love you. Um, Shabbat Shalom to all of the ministries um, that support us, that we likewise support. Uh, we just love you. Shout out to you. Continue to enjoy your Shabbat. Continue to bask in his presence. Continue to rest in him. Hallelujah. Let Pharaoh go. Hallelujah. And remember, in everything you do, make the most high the most high in your life. Shabbat shalom. <laughs>